Hi, I'm Chef Owen Tilly, and I want to welcome you to this week's installment of Ask the Chef. This week's question comes from Jess, and Jess wants to know, how can she keep her knife sharp? Well, Jess, it's very important for you to keep your knife sharp because dull knives leads to accidents and makes a mess of all your prep work. Now, there are many products out there to sharpen your knives. I like to keep it simple by using only three. Now, what I like to use is a whetstone, an AccuSharp or a V-Trial sharpener, and a sharpening still. Now, there are also many different kinds and different levels of knives. They range from your uh, less expensive set that you can buy for $100 or less, true chef knives that are of restaurant quality. I even use old antique knives as well. Now, the first sharpener that we're going to use is the AccuSharp or the V-Trial. Now, this one's a little scary, but with a little bit of practice, you'll be using it like a champ in no time at all. You only want to use this sharpener on your lesser expensive knives. The reason being is that the notch or the two metal pieces that make the V actually scrapes off shards of steel to sharpen the knife and you don't want to do that with a very high quality knife. Now, first put it in your hand as such. Now this blue guard here is going to protect my knuckles and that's why it gets a little scary because you're actually going to drag it across like this. And as you can hear, it's really removing a lot of the metal out. And there it goes. Now, like I said, this one removes shards, little shards of metal. So you want to always clean your knife with a towel before you use it to chop anything. The second piece of equipment I like to use is a whetstone. Now, I'm using a Japanese whetstone, and the reason they call it a whetstone is you actually have to wet it. I've soaked it in cold water for about 10 minutes so that all the pores absorb the water and allow the knife to be sharpened. Now, there's two sides. There's a rough side and a fine side. Now, I like to use this stone for just about any of my knives. It'll do a good job on less expensive knives and even to the mostly high expensive Damascus steel Japanese made knives. Now to use this, you're going to want to hold your knife at a 45 degree angle. Now I use my thumb to apply just a little bit of pressure to make sure that it's doing its job. Now you want to smoothly stroke the knife down the side with a little bit of pressure the exact amount times for each side. So if I did three on one side, I'll do three on the other. Now, if your knife's in real bad shape, you want, to use a, uh, you want to use the rough side just a little bit more than you do the fine side, because the fine side's just putting the finishing polish on the edge of it. So, once again, I'm going to glide it down just a couple of more times, and then we're going to flip it over and use the fine side. Now, also, you want to dust it off a little bit to remove those particles of sand that get on the knife so when you use the fine edge you're not nicking your knife as you sharpen it. So once again using my thumb and my finger for pressure at a 45 degree angle I'm just going to go down the smooth fine side and you only have to do this a couple of times. Just like that and once again you always want to clean your knife blade before you start using it. Now the last piece of equipment that I have is a sharpening steel. Now this really isn't a sharpener, it's more honing your edge by aligning the ions along the edge of your knife. You can use this every day. I would recommend that you sharpen your knives at least once a month. If you're using them really highly, then you might consider them sharpening them once a week. But for every day to keep your knife sharp, use the steel. And once again at a 45 degree angle, we're going to go down the side from hilt to tip, making sure you keep it at a 45 degree angle. Now on TV, I'm sure you see guys doing this really quick. They're really not accomplishing anything because unless you're holding it at a 45 degree angle, you're just making a bunch of noise. Even though you may have an old knife that doesn't look like it'll do much, if you keep it sharp and maintain it, it'll cut through anything just like butter. Now you can find the sharpening steel or the AccuSharp or V-Trial at any grocery store or hardware store. They're readily available. As far as the whetstone, I suggest that you go to a kitchen specialty shop and have them guide you to the strength of stone that you need. And I'd like to thank Jess for asking how to keep her knife sharp. And I want to thank you for joining us here on Ask the Chef. And remember to come back next week for our next installment. 
And as always, you keep asking, I'll keep cooking.